In this video, we are going to see how we can add scroll on animation by using just CSS. Let's go to our code. So I'll start with index.html. We'll create the index.html file. Then again, index.css file. Now let's go to HTML and add the HTML5 boilerplate. Now we'll add h1 with the animate on scroll as a text inside it. Now let's add some bootstrap CDN links. Now we'll get it from the W3 school only. Let's go to try it yourself. Um, this three links are uh, three lines like we need to copy and paste it inside within inside our head. Now let's try to add one wrapper class with the div and our blocks. So let's add some um, bootstrap classes also so that we can show the we can manage the width of our blocks so we'll create 10 blocks so let's copy and paste this 10 times and copy paste it i'm just adding the sizes as random like 5 5 5 2 8 4 then like 3 7 like this only now let's go to index.css we'll simply add star like box sizing border box and then padding as zero and margin as zero. Now let's add uh, the wrapper CSS. It will be like uh, display basically. We'll add it as display flex, yeah. And then justify content space evenly. Then flex type equals to wrap. Okay. So now uh, let's add some margin top as fifty rem because we want some gap between the h1 tag and our wrapper class and add some padding 5 pixels let's add the height for blocks as 25 rem then margin is 5 pixel margin top as 10 rem and margin bottom as 10 rem now we'll add some uh, like for now we'll just add one background as gray so hash triple nine we'll use let's see how it does look in on the browser so we forward to add our CSS file. Yeah. Now can you see like uh, we are having these blocks now? Okay. Let's add some CSS for this animate on scroll h1 tag. So h1 font size will be using 250 pixel. Let's add more important and text align or uh, let's add margin first or uh, text align center. Yeah. That's it. I did. We don't need margin now. Yeah, this is looking perfect. Yeah, uh, so now let's go ahead with this. Let's add animation. The animation will be name as show 0.5 second is in. Okay, now let's add keyframes show from 2 to 2. Okay, now let's add transform translate x minus 100 pixel and transform translate x to 0 pixel so this will make our block to move from left to right and add opacity as 0 0.2 to 1 so as you can see when you refresh the page the blocks are moving from left to right so now let's add uh, some more animation uh, let's add some blocks uh, background only first of all so block ends child first will be background as well then we'll try to add all the backgrounds for all those 10 blocks so let me add that first um, just choosing the random color whichever is looking good uh, yeah now this third one then this fourth one then the fifth one sixth one we'll choose something different yeah seventh one we are adding each of the blocks as unique color so that we can differentiate which block we want ninth okay let's choose it properly ninth one and let the tenth will be the red only yeah so oh we have not added the numbers to the child yeah two and three then four four five six seven eight 
9 and the last one logic block 10 now if you see we are seeing the all the colors whatever we have applied in css in our blocks now comes our main uh, lines so animation will add some animation timeline so what it does whenever our block come into view it will start the animation and we'll add one more line uh, one more property that is animation range so this basically defines when the block will enter in the viewport and how much we should show it so at entry we'll show it as 0% and when it is 40% will like how much it will cover it will cover 40% so this is how we can do the animation on scroll so if you see now like when we are scrolling the animation is going so smooth right? now you can add some more animation classes also so let's add a uh, price scale also so it will like uh, decrease the size and then increase the size that kind of animation it will see yeah so can you see like this blocks are decreasing in size and then increasing in size we can also add some rotate let's add rotate as 15 degree and when it's on to like it's zero degree so it will now scroll like this on scroll it's rotating so hope you guys you like this video and if you like this video just hit the subscribe button